Hey guys, I wanted to go over a quick tip uh, in post-production for podcasting for removing some mic bleed. So if you have two or more people in room with you when you're recording, sometimes based on the mic, if it's super sensitive, you're going to get some overlap. You're going to have, you know, maybe your, your guest voice is coming through your mic when you're not talking and vice versa. So this is how I remove that using side chaining. It's a little complicated, so try to bear with me. Um, I'm running in Logic right now. You can do this as long as your software has buses and as long as you have a compressor but has a side chain option, you can do this in any, uh, in any DAW and it's gonna be about the same process. So for example, just so you can hear what's going on. So we got two tracks here. You can see the top track when they're talking. The second track is not, but there's still some bleed coming through. You can see it in the waveform and if I play it, you should be able to hear. So it's really quiet and what happens is it's most noticeable when both tracks are uh, are unmuted when the main person is talking here you're actually it's going to sound kind of echoey and like there's reverb on it even though there's not because of that bleed I'm not sure if you can hear that the detail of that but that's exactly what's happening and if you've had mic bleed before uh, you know that it's a problem and you need to get rid of it. So anyways, uh, let's see. So each track, um, if you have multiple mics and they all have a little bit of bleed, each track needs to set up a bus. What a bus does is just kind of create a digital uh, routing of an audio signal inside your software. So let's say we have track one here. We're going to send that to bus one and set it to full. And then we're going to take track two and send that to bus two. Now, Logic automatically creates these additional auxiliary tracks, which I don't need. So I'm going to delete those. And we're going to highlight track two here. And I'm going to set up a compressor. I'm going to use the Waves C1, which is just the one that I tend to use most frequently. So I'm more, more familiar with it. Okay, so here we see the compressor. Now what we're going to do, the compressor was going to work like a normal compressor until you activate the sidechain. What that means is I'm going to set the sidechain to bus 1 because that's my signal coming from the first track into the second track. So bus 1 is activating. So it's only going to activate the compressor when it's getting input signal from bus 1. So whenever track 2 stops talking and track 1 starts, the compressor will work. It's going to be very soft, but it's going to work so it doesn't really affect the voice but enough that it's going to cancel out this bleed. So let's set a few settings here. Ratio, we'll just do four. I'm just kind of setting to my, uh, my normal compressor settings. This is something that you can play with based on the voice, how quick they talk, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so all my levels are set. The last thing that I want to do is listen back audibly and change the threshold level uh, right here. You can see the compressor, it's gonna show me how hard the compression is, is hitting. I just wanna change the threshold until it's working enough to cancel the bleed but not really affecting the main part of the voice. So let's listen a little bit here. And you can see based on the level here too, just uh, so you notice that, it's showing me what bus one signal is. It's showing up here so I can tell when the compressor is going to be activated. So right here we have the compressor hitting right around the you know the average volume level of track one and that's pretty much all you need to do and what i've done is i've saved a setting here on my compressor so every time i open it all the settings are already checked i just have to turn on the side chain with whatever bus i need and then adjust the threshold up or down to make sure it fits so if you have multiple um, voices this is easiest with just two voices but if you have three or four what you want to do is set up a bus for each group of voices. So let's just say, for example, let me just duplicate this and we'll copy these just for a visual. So if you have four tracks, basically you want to take the first group of three and send those to bus one, we'll say, and make sure this last track is being activated by bus one for the side chain. 
And then let's say we'll take this group of three, set that to bus two, and make sure this track that's left over is getting activated by bus two, and so on and so forth. You basically want the three tracks that aren't talking to be on a bus sending to the last track that's left over. So like I said, it's a little more complicated when you run into three or four tracks or even more than that, but the process is gonna be the same. Once you get the compressor set up, you can just duplicate the settings from track to track, and then just make sure your buses are routed the same way, or the correct way, I should say, and then you'll be good to go. And that's it, so that's how you remove bleed in post-production for your show.